Well, I had to do this at some point. I actually did it in reverse order because I did the the four Bop Extreme formulas first because there's only four of them. But I'm going to be essentially going over every single Bop It with uh, Bop Twist Pull ever released. There is one exception that's the uh, Bop It uh, Maker, which I do have. Let's start with the basic Bop It. There we go. This is a Bop It 2000, as we call it. Because it came out in 2000. The original was in 1996, but there are a few, uh, I think there's a few programming quirks that differentiate from it from the uh, original. First of all, I hope I got this right. The beat is not, it's not slow like the original. It's not as slow as the original 96. Second, it stores up to 200 rather than 100. I'm not going to do that this time. But yeah, this is a reissue of the original Bop It. I'm going to play a little bit of it. And then it got reissued again, but redesigned at the same time in 2002 with what I call Bop It 2. I just call it Bop It 2 because it came out the same year as Bop It Extreme 2, so it makes more sense. The audio quality is definitely a little bit of a downgrade. It's a little bit more muffled, and the design is pretty cool. It's a lot more compact, if anything. It's a lot more lightweight. And then, probably one of the most infamous and kind of hated in the uh, in the fandom. This one came out in 2004. It's the Bratz Bop It, which is a Bop It that, from what I can tell, nobody likes. Uh, this thing, again, came out in 2004. It's the same thing, just like a reskin of the 2002. Different beat, different voice, different victory tune. If you see my uh, completion of this video, you would know that. I'm just going to play a little bit of it. Made that really short because I want to get that over as, as soon as possible. Then came Bop It Blast, which I believe is right next to me. Yep, there it is. Bop It Blast was very innovative for its time because it was the first Bop It, and I think the only Bop It that was collapsible. It's also, from what I can tell, it's a Bop It that a lot of people do not like because of its design. I personally don't mind. I mean, the build quality, and I can imagine it was rushed because, you know, the way Hasbro has been treating Dan like, throughout the years. It was probably rushed. But this also marks the first and only Bop It, traditional Bop, you know, Bop Twist Pull, that has a one-on-one -on -one mode. Like, you can position it to have some per one person man Bop and Twist, and the other one Bop and Pull. This also introduced something that I haven't seen in a long time, because I think it was omitted entirely, called Light Bop. I will not be demonstrating that, because it's kind of tedious. Bop it! Bop it! Bop it! Bop it! Bop it! Um, let me do this real quick. But what light bop is, it basically gives you a false command, meaning like if it says twist it and this lights up, you do not want to do it. But I'm going to play a little bit of a uh, box bop. Also, the buffer time when you like do both voices is kind of annoying. But yeah, this is one of the more interesting Bop It's. This also marks the only appearance of a Bop It button being blue. 
I'm not sure if you can see that. And three on the other side as well. So fast forward to 2008. What changes? Well, we get a brand new generation of Bop It. This is probably the one that most people enjoy. And it's probably one of the most well-known in the fandom. It is the best one. We call it Bop It Shout. It's just advertised as, as Bop It. It doesn't have the word shout. That's because it has shout, which is this microphone right here, which you can turn on and off. I'm going to play a little bit with it, with it off. But what's important is this is the first Bop It that was voiced by Buddy Rubino, who is absolutely hilarious, by the way. Um, this is also the first Bop It that lets you know when someone to sleep. It'll, it'll say, I'm going to sleep. And that is actually to save battery power. You can actually actively choose levels if, you, if you've unlocked all three. I'm not even sure if it's showing up on camera. There's like a little button. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of it. Solo. There's also volume control via the twisted knob. I'm going to play a little bit for you guys. I score 22. <laughs> Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Yeah. You can do this. Score three. The reason I made it really short is because it starts the same way Bob twist pull. Bop it to start. Um, what came after that? Crap. I'm going to sleep. I think... Where is it? Where is Bobby? There it is. After that, in 2014, we got Bobby Micro Series, which started something very infamous in our community. Let's just call it the Character Plague. And that's just more or less uh, Hasbro like abusing Dan Plitz and there's Bobby Patton, and let's be honest, it's getting old. But this is actually one of my all-time favorite Bobbits. This is not my original one, by the way. For those of you who didn't who didn't see uh, my post, it is a replacement. My first one, the speaker actually gave out, and I had that for seven years, mind you. But just like a downgraded Bop It Shout, there's no, uh, there's no shout, and it's really, really compact. It's actually my favorite Bop It of all time, because of how compact it is, but... Solo. Pass it. Solo. This one has volume control as well. Blasting. You can play a little bit of it. I score 100. <clears throat> Bop It. And then in 2016, we got, Bop it well, Bop it, 20, Bop it 2016, Bop It DX, Bop It Deluxe, Bop It Action, Bop It New Moves, Bop It Refresh, whatever you want to call it. It has so many names in the community. This is the first Bop It that had motion controls, and this is no longer a button. It's an, I uh, hope I pronounced this right, accelerometer. hope I'm pronouncing that right. But it's not a button. You can see nothing's moving. It's just like a accelerometer now. This is one of the most bad spit insane bobbits I've ever played, and I cannot say how. Blah. And I. Blah. And I mean that in the most positive way, obviously. It's the greatest thing ever constructed. It was also made to commemorate the game's 20th anniversary. Bump it to start! Why? Blasting! So, uh, here we go. I'll show off the action mode briefly to show how insane this one is. I score 54! It, it's really fun. Bump it! Twist it! Pull it. Hammer it. Bump it. Hammer it. Twist it. Drink it. Pull it. Pull it. Selfie it. Oh! Extend your arm and snap a selfie. Score 10. This also marks the first of, so far, only two. Bop it to let you know when the batteries are running low. It'll go... My batteries are running low. Like, it actually lets you know when the batteries are dying. Which is very useful for the time. Bump it to start. And then, I'm gonna skip the one that absolutely no one likes and go to the one that everyone does like, especially my friend, uh, Bop it Master 8. This is part of the character plague, as I've called it. For those who don't know, the character plague is essentially something that started in, I believe, 2014 with the Bop It R2-D2, which I'm not going to show in this video, I'm just going to show the one that's really awesome. Um, it started with R2-D2 and it's ended so far with the child slash baby Yoda Bop It. It's just the Bob Twist pull formula, actually. This is actually my favorite one out of the, the entire selection of the character plague. Come on, why does it always do that? There we go. I'm just going to play a little bit of it. High score five. You said that's why it's score five. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Your 
circuit must be malfunctioning. Score six. These also let you know when they're going to sleep, by the way. Pretty much every modernized Boppet does that. Bop it to start. And then in 2017, we got. I'll just switch off for a while. Where are you? Bop it Maker. Bop it Maker is exactly what it sounds like. You create your move. That's what the uh, dial is for. It doesn't have a Bop it button like the uh, 2016 one didn't. It's just like another accelerometer, actually. But instead of Bop Twist Pull, we have. Bop, shout, squeeze, and roll. And we'll demonstrate a little bit of this. Bop it! I score! 100! Beat that off camera. Shout it! Shout it! Bop it! Roll it! Bop it! Shout it! Oh! Just shout into the microphone! Score! Yeah, this is actually my least favorite Bop It out of the entire bunch, Bop believe it, it or not. Start. I mean, the idea could have been great, but from what I can tell, Hasbro actually rushed Dan, no surprise, to make this one. And then, here's a Bop It that I both hate and respect at the same time. Bop It Classic, as we've called it. This is actually a 2.0, because I did the test mode. I did a test mode video on that a while ago. But this is just like, it looks exactly like the, uh, like exactly like this one. Just flat, not round at the, at the other side. But yeah, this is just like a combination of the, the design of the, uh, show and the gameplay of the micro. It does have its own exclusive modes, though, so that's pretty cool. Solo. Loud, quiet, blasting. Yeah, mine is definitely a 2.0 because of the volume thing. Gonna play just a little bit of it. Now, before I close this video, before I end this video, I suppose I should explain why I hate this thing and respect it. I hate this one because Hasbro is again exploiting Dan Klitzner. Again. I can respect it though because it's basically a bop for a new generation. Like, that makes a lot of sense on that level. But uh, Hasbro is clearly running out of ideas. I don't think anyone would argue with me about that. So, if I had to recommend an entry point, I'd say either Micro Series, it's still in print I believe, it's just on Amazon, either Micro Series or Shout. Those are both good entry points. Bop It Refresh Action New Moves 2016 DX Deluxe is a really good one, but that's not one you should start with because of how complicated it is unless you play it on like Classic. But yeah. So I do my own little retrospective on the traditional Boppet formula. I hope you all enjoyed this. This is Earthworm Joe94. Signing out.